Hi, today we will learn Dutch or Netherlands about these words. We have three languages here. The red one is in English. The black one is in Indonesian language or Bahasa Indonesia. The blue one is in Dutch. So we will skip the black, we will look at the red and the blue. Scoop or spade or shuffle. Schop. Schop. Girder or bar or beam bulk column pillar column pillar Column, column, pillar, 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 tile, table. Foundation or base, foundering, 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 faucet or tap, crane. Hose, hose, slang, slang, pipe, pipe. So it sounds a bit similar, I think. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Pipe, 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 pipe. But of course, you write it different way, in different ways. Lamp, lamp. If you want to make it small or little lamp. You put the U to make it small or little, but the lamp itself, lamp, 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 so you don't need the U here. Frame. When you have to say window frame or door frame, you have to put this frame cosine together with the word. Of course, it was from two words, door or door. And cosine, door cosine, door frame, or door frame together. In in Dutch, in English of course separate. In Dutch, door frame, 
Der cosine. Der cosine. One word. Ram cosine. It becomes one word. Ram cosine. Ram is window. Window frame. Ram cosine. One word. Together. Cement. Cement. Same. And. Basin. Or. Wash tub. Wascom. We go here. Pail or bucket. Emmer. Emmer. Water. 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 So you write it same, but when you have to pronounce it, it's different. They are different. What? Water. Water. Balcony. Balcon. And this one is interesting because it's not the correct way translated, but yeah, I just write it like that. That's why I put a pink sign there because door brak brak is from bracken. Bracken is breaking or break. Door is not door because door is door. Door is by or through. It's like through breaking. Kind of bit similar with breaking or smashing or kicking, but it's not for a real real um, things that you can see or you can touch or you can feel you can feel or touch like they're really physically it you will find it more often with it comes with price price is price 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 so the price is door brock smashed price is really low it becomes really low it becomes yeah it's smashing the price it's become really low it's like that yeah this is not the correct translation but i find it a bit interesting because this is the indonesian word and yeah that's why it here it's here If you hear something, it's my man from background. He's doing phone call. So you will hear. I hope you cannot hear it, but if you can hear, it's yeah, him. And jealousy. 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 It's the can be from wood can be from plastic can be from others of the materials if you see it from the side it's like this let's say this is toilet door sometimes in the bottom area you will find this one to make you can see the outside but from outside cannot see inside or can be in others element of house or yeah building and we will go to which way 
this one ceramic keramik keramik and we have lavatory or toilet or water closet or restroom or this one I don't know how to pronounce it correctly maybe WC in Dutch we use this this is toilet this is toilet this I don't know maybe WC or water closet in Dutch we say for specifically saying toilet bowl we can say it as we say pot or toilet pot concrete beton cloth lap wash cloth wash lap cloth lap wash cloth wash lap towel or bath towel I hope you can see it or maybe I will just move it a bit let's say pause I have moved this one a bit so it's not in shape towel or bath towel in Dutch you can say it handuk even though hand is hand duk let's say towel or cloth or sheet cloth cloth it it comes from two words but it becomes together handuk but it's not small and people use it for bath so towel or bath towel is handuk even though this han is hand but it's for bath handuk and it's big enough but if you want to have bigger size for bath you have bat duk bat is bath but duk if you want bigger than that or sometimes this word can be replaced with this one dushi laken dushi bath shower laken yeah sometimes you can say it with duk you can say it with lap you can say it with laken to say cloth or towel fabric material dushi laken dushi laken one word even though it's it was from two words and we also have this one was Han. Was han is same with was lap. So you can say it was lap or was han for wash cloth. In the toilet, if you find towel to clean your hand, the name is gasten duk but i pronounce it with wrong g 
it should be gasten duk gasten duk because this g should be gasten duk gasten is guest so it's towel for the guest it's not for sleepover it's for clean for dry your hand Gasten duk and we have bigger towel than this one strand laken strand is beach laken yeah lap laken duk clothes it's or towel towel that you use in the beach when you do the when you want to do tanning or with the sun laying on the beach you lay on beach towel which is in Dutch strand laken we also have so this is the biggest one the biggest towel strand laken Zak duk, handkerchief. Zak is pocket. Pocket that's here in your t-shirt on your t-shirt or so. Zak, maybe can be pocket here too, with in your pants or so. Zak duk, handkerchief. It's from two words come together. Handkerchief, zak duk. Or we have house duk is neck scarf, the little scarf that you use not for a cold day. Let's say when it's a bit sunny but the wind is kind of quite big or a bit cold, you use neck scarf, house duk. This is last one. Start to be dark here. I have to edit it later because it becomes really dark now. We have sink or wash basin or wash bowl. In Dutch is wash tafel. Wash tafel. This wash tafel stands for the sink or wash basin when we do the the one that we use for brushing our teeth is wash tafel but if you get the small one small sink the one that you find sometimes in the toilet in Dutch toilet is common the size is real smaller than the original or the common wash basin is small because you can cannot even do it with your head so you cannot brush your teeth there because it's really small it's only for the tap in the toilet after you do your stuff so you clean your hand is the call we call it as fontaine fontaine we can say it as little sink or small or tiny sink. Fontaine chu. Yeah, but in English it's the same. Yeah. Thank you.